Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Beauty by CD. If you want to see how I transform an old wig into this fancy faux hawk, I want you guys to stay tuned to my video where I transform this hair and do this makeup. Um, stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Bye. All right, so let's get started. I am starting with a blank canvas, and here is the wig that I am going to use. It's an old Afro wig that I created with this Remy here that was this two-tone color where it's uh, one B at the bottom and like a, I think it's like 2730 mix or something like that. So um, I, created a, I created a wig with it, and I didn't like it just being an Afro, so I figure I can make a nice little style out of it. So I went ahead and I parted it, as you see here, in these sections from eyebrow to eyebrow and then going down to the back in the triangle formation. I'm using these peanut clippers to bring down this hair because I want it very tapered. The idea is to get it very close to the head so that way it looks like it's a nice um, curly, you know, baby fro as opposed to like long, long fro. And you get that low as possible, but you want to make sure you maintain some hair around the edges. Um, you want some hair left behind so that you can mold it into the shape that you want. And then I release the top of this hair because that's what's going to show me where I want to go. So against the tapered sides, I'm using the clippers to kind of like help guide me to not remove too much hair too fast. So I took some off on the top of that hair and I released the back to do the same concept. The back is going more into a triangle formation because it's supposed to be a full hawk. So you want to make sure you have hair all the way up into the mid part of your precipical bone. Um, hopefully I said that right. <laughs> and I'm using these peanut clippers again with a guide just to make sure I don't go too crazy. Um, so I'm going to go into a quick makeup look. I'm using Laying Low as my primer for my eyes. And I'm going into the Smashbox palette just to give myself a nice frost. And I'm using vanilla. I love this pencil, it's a gel liner pencil and it's by Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Pencil Gel and I'm using this to create my cut crease, very very technical type of style. Um, I do the cut crease first and then I kind of wing it out but it's like a, it's called floating. So anyways, I'm going into this palette and I'm using um, Max Colors and this is actually a blush color that I'm using just to give myself some depth because I really want some warm, warm tones. That first color on my eye was a blush called Film Noir. And then I went into my Smashbox. That gold color that I use is called um, Sienna. And I'm going back into the same palette, the Smashbox palette. And I'm using the Blackout to make my um, cut crease kind of come back to life because uh, the cut crease can be very technical. Um, you can mess it up very easy. So to make it look like I didn't jack it up too much. I went back into the black to create more of a sharper line. I'm using this pencil again. It's the Maybelline Skinny Pencil in a dark brown. Um, before it was a black color, so I just used it to make it fill it in. I love this as an alternative from the dip down brows that I use to fill in my brows and make sure that they're very rich and in form. I go back into brown um, powder, an eyeshadow powder, and I just use that to make it like um, not look so, I guess, dark in one area. So I'm using, this is either Black Track by MAC or Inglot. They have two very, those two companies have some dark, dark um, gel. So I'm not sure which one I'm using here, but it might be Inglot according to the little shape that I saw. This is an old video that I had it edited in a while, so I was trying to do it now and try to remember at the same time. I'm giving you the full deal here. I am going to contour my face. I'm using this Cover FX palette in the number one. The number one is like N60. And then I'm following by the darkest color on there. They have numbers one, two, three, and four. I'm using the number four to do the contour. Uh, I'm going to use their number two, the candlelight, to give me my shimmer. And I'm using this very fancy brush. Um, it's kind of made for the whole contouring so that you can like really, you know, carve out your face. And um, it's very skinny, pointed, and angled so that you kind of get in those small areas. I kind of love it. So here I'm using that um, candlelight color. I tell you it's number two. And I'm using this sponge that I'm not a big fan of. I feel like it slows me down. 
but I use it just to kind of try it out. You try things out and you, you, you decide if you like it or not. I'm using the NYX, um, this color. It's kind of similar to Bananas, the very yellow color. I use that to pop the highlight on my face. Um, and I'm brushing that out. I'm going back into those matte colors. And I want to make sure I have those very, very rich tones. Because I want to look very, like, golden, red, and all that good stuff. So I'm going into Film Noir again. And I'm going to pop it with some red on my cheek. And that red color was Apple Red. And I just put a little bit to make it like pop. And on, and for the highlighter, I used Super B to make it like um, give me more shimmer. But remember, I had used that Cover FX first while it was on the foundation. Um, that's the Super B right there. I'm just using it to give me a nice glow, using it on the high points of my cheeks, my nose, and my uh, Cupid's bow, the top of my lip. I'm using my favorite mascara. And this is the uh, CoverGirl, the Big Jumbo Lash Blash Volume. I love this because it gives you so much um, mascara on your lashes. And I'm following that up by applying my Mink Lashes. And I love to use Duo. And my other go-to is by Danessa Merrick. She's got her own line. And this is a nice color that I found from NYX, you guys. It is called Transylvania. It's very rich, very dark, like a brick color. And it's a lip stain so but it, it dries like a mat so that's kind of popular these days where you have lipsticks that dry like a mat and they last long so it's very long wearing um, and pretty much these mink lashes made the look just pop cut crease with mink lashes and a bold lip it's perfect for the fall um, and this turned out better than what I expected I'm going to go ahead and try to manipulate this hair to make it look like it's mine and growing out of my head. I'm using this foam setting lotion. It's called Nairobi. Um, you can use it for setting hair, doing waves, shortcuts, that type of thing. And it kind of helped me put my hair in formation. I'm using this other cream um, styling. It's a cream style gel. It's not a gel. It's actually a cream. What am I talking about? Anywho, I'm using that to make the hairs go where I want them. And because this is not my hair, I have to constantly manipulate and bring it forward with my hands to make it look like it's laying down. Because with curly hair, you can disguise a lot of things because curly hair is kind of untamed where it just grows and goes wherever it wants. So that's the kind of the look that I'm going for. And I want to make sure the top is curly and funky, looking very punk rock. And um, you just be very like, you know, don't overdo it. And have fun with it. Like, I didn't take this wig on to make it complicated. I wanted it to be fun and cute. And with the makeup look, it kind of really popped. Got a lot of compliments with this look. And I rock it from time to time. It's like my go-to whenever I want, like, hair off my face, off my neck, off the sides of my cheeks. So it gives me, like, that look that I want. And I'm ready to go. Um, I'm just using a complimentary lipstick color that goes right over that Transylvania because I found it to be a little drying. And I just use the same color family, like a brick sangria type of color. I'm just going back in, making sure things are kind of neat and um, refined. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you can fine tune whatever you like and mold how you like. Use whatever products you like. I just wanted to give you an idea of how to revive a wig. Um, thank you guys for watching. Been watching Beauty by CD. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Um, follow me on Instagram, a Beauty by CD as well. Thank you.